Hey everybody, uh, in this four-part video series, uh, what we're going to be going over is keeping a persistent login in Ionic. Um, now, if you haven't seen the previous video on logging in, I would suggest checking that out first. Um, also, just one other disclaimer for this video series, uh, this covers the Ionic portion of the project and the API is not covered here. Uh, however, that being said, the API is available through my GitHub page at github.com slash robmyers82. Uh, if you need to check that out, you can see it there. Okay, so what do I mean by persistent login? Well, let's uh, check out the, uh, the two app in Ionic through my simulator here. So it comes up with a welcome screen, says welcome to to app, please log in to see your app. So if we take a look at the menu, we've got a login function and we've got the welcome page, which is the page we just seen there. So let's log in. Now we're going to log in using the same credentials as in the last video. So it's going to be test at test.com and our password is going to be test. So let's log in. Tells me congrats, I've authenticated. So now if we click that and we see the menu, now we can see that we can see our list of to-dos and at the same time, we can also log out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to close this app here completely. So let's close that. And now if I reopen the app, what you're going to see is that I actually stay logged in. So once again, if I log out, it's going to update so that I'm logged out and I can't actually access the to-dos anymore. So if I back out one more time, and then close the program altogether and reopen the app. You're going to see that I actually have to log in to access that app. So um, what are we using to accomplish this exactly? Uh, well, we're using a combination of ng storage and we are using uh, Angular resolves to actually uh, check if the user's logged in before loading the app. Now, that's what we're going to be covering in our videos after this. So in our next video, we are going to be covering ng storage. In the third video, we'll be covering uh, resolves in Ionic, or so, sorry, not Ionic, in Angular. And in our final video, what we're going to do is just something that makes your workflow seem more fluid. And what that is, is it's going to be loading screens. So we're going to take a look at how we can actually set up a loading screen. Uh, I have loading screens in here already. So if I log in once again, at test at test.com and password test, uh, it's going to tell me congrats. And if we check out the to do's and add a new one, so we're here at $2 and we add that to do, you're going to see a loading screen when we try to add the to do. So you notice that there. Uh, it's very quick because everything's running locally at the moment, um, but that's what we'll be going over in our third video is the loading screen. Uh, so uh, I will see you at the next video, and we're going to start digging into NG storage.